Hi, I'm Ivana Manley, and welcome to Manly Labs. At least the bike gets 40 miles to the gallon. I like that. Let's go on in and see what everyone's up to. For being in the audio business, I'm really more of a visual person. Stepping into the foyer of Manly Labs, uh, you can see our wall of fame here. We've collected magazine articles over the years. There's some famous people like David Bowie and Jeff Bridges and Eddie James. Don LaFontaine, Vincento Fernandez, Avril Lavigne. We're very proud when we uh, see some manly gear in a magazine. Back in 1997, I took some photography classes. I studied black and white photography. I also took a color class and developed all these in the lab at the college. My assignment was a set of self-portraits I could use in future advertising. We've been really well recognized in the industry, and here you can see some of the awards and trophies we've collected up over the years. We're very, very proud of these. Here's my office. I'm pretty visually based, so you can see I've got a lot of visual stimulus in my office, starting with the walls are red. It's good energy to motivate me to work hard. Here's our current roster of employees. We've got about 30 employees here at Manly Labs. There's a lot of relations here, a lot of brothers and sisters and husbands and wives. Let's walk into the production area and see what we are building today. Here's a sweep of the production floor. We've got a lot of guys wiring and assembling and stuffing boards and building gear. That's what we do, and most of the factory is totally dedicated to assembly and production. You know we're only as good as our worst tube, so every tube that is used in any product first undergoes a couple days at least, maybe a week or more, of burn-in in these jigs that we've custom built. We've got one guy who just plugs in tubes into this custom noise tester and listens to every tube and uh, applies a couple different test parameters to that tube depending on what circuit that's going to go in. For instance, we can swap the first triode and the second triode if we're looking for especially quiet tubes that have the second triode is quieter than the first depending on the circuit layout. We also have some jigs that test triode to triode balance for circuits that require that, such as the variable mu. Still, if a tube doesn't have good triode to triode match, it's possible we can use that guy again in another single-ended circuit as opposed to a parallel circuit that requires good matching. You know, we can't just go and uh, buy a couple tubes on eBay when we need some tubes. We need to find thousands of tubes to support production year after year after year. So when I find a good batch of new old stock joint Army-Navy so-and-so tubes from the 60s and they're really good, I gotta buy them all. That's a lot of dollars tied up in inventory here, as you can see. We're buying tubes thousands at a time, and that assures that production is consistent year after year. And that also assures that we've got plenty of tubes for after service support. Back in the mid-90s, we bought this mechanical engraving machine that runs off an Apple II computer. There's no hard drive. It runs on five and a quarter floppy disk. There's no graphics. I have to program every line, line by line. Even with the letters, you have to do manual kerning, which is pretty nerdy and pretty cool. Our logo, the Manly logo, really only exists as an engraving font. It's called the Double Line Roman Engraved. It really does not exist in the computer world, only with engravers. 
A few years ago, we bought a laser engraver, which acts like a big printer, and then we could redo all our artwork in a modern computer and print them to the panel. So here you see the laser running, and it, it acts like a big printer. So we can do all kinds of fancier stuff with the laser engraver. And really, it's burning through the anodized. It's a little bit of a different look than the mechanical engraving that's cutting through the anodized, but overall, it's still really nice and crisp and very high resolution also. Initially, we had a CNC machine here in the machine shop, but after a while, we sold it to some guys down the street who had a sheet metal shop and they wanted to get into milling. So really here, we don't even really focus on prototyping anymore. We really focus on the final finish, which is the polishing of the edges of faceplates and the line graining. And, you know, our customers are so fussy about the fit and finish of Manly Gear. They're paying a lot of money for it, and they want it to look absolutely perfect. So we do it here so that we can get as close to perfection with every panel as we can. That requires a full-time guy just to be polishing and line graining faceplates. These are the Vox Box inserts that George has line grained and he's washed them and he's laying them up for final inspection before they're wrapped up. Now we're down the street at a machine shop called Sib Precision, also located in Chino, California. They've got some wonderful machines like this big Amata Punch. It's all programmed by a computer. It's got a turret that holds numerous different tools for different shapes. The sheet metal slides around and goes into position so that the sharp punch can punch a really nice hole. One of the coolest departments here at Manly Labs is our transformer winding department. We set this up in 1994. We've been winding all of our audio transformers since then. The good thing about doing transformers here is that every single one will be exactly how we want it to be because these guys are not motivated to change anything. They're not paid by the part. The magnet wire is spooled up through a tensioner. The winding instructions are programmed onto the computer. They recall that. They pull a wire down, attach it to the pin, and hit go. And it winds with incredible precision. So each transformer is exactly the way it's supposed to be. After the unit's built, gets a quick visual inspection first to catch any obvious errors before it goes into the final QC room where our technicians measure every single unit on an audio precision machine. They're looking for frequency response, they're looking for levels, they're looking for distortion, they're looking for anything that's out of whack. We have to assure that everything's working the way it's supposed to work. It only takes one wrong resistor or one wire swapped or one bad solder connection and the whole thing won't work. So we've got to be very particular and make sure that there are no errors anywhere. Here in the inventory section, the parts are all collected up in bins. They're all barcoded. They're organized in a big old FileMaker database along with a bill of materials and purchasing. Keeping track of all these parts is a big deal. It's a lot of money back here. In fact, you can pull open a little box that's the size of a shoebox and there could be $2,000 of parts sitting in there. And Birch is our lead support engineer. He's been here since, I think, 1994. He's overseeing a new artwork for the Vox Box there. We're going to be changing PC board vendors, so he's getting all that material together to send out for quotes. Our two microphone models, the Reference Gold and the Reference Cardioid, have been made since 1990. Not everyone knows that. You can see production happening here. These are reference cardioid mics, all lined up for final listening. They're burning in. We burn them in for a week or so. The capsules are very consistent these days, actually. It's all about getting a really nice, quiet tube. Mike is building about 350 microphones in total per year here, and he's doing a really great job. Mike is stuffing the microphone boards, as you can see here. He's working very clean because at those high impedances, you don't want any body oils or anything that might present itself like a short. 
Along with the TIB mics, you have to have a dedicated power supply. These are not phantom supplies. These are providing the heaters and the B-plus for the microphones. And again, they're built by hand, one by one. We're up on the roof at Manly Labs, looking at our beautiful solar panels. They generate, I think, about 24,000 watts of electricity. And we've got plenty of sun here in Southern California to uh, be able to take advantage of these. We also have a highly reflective roof that was put on. It's a foam roof, it insulates. And the shade provided by the solar panels also keep the factory cool. Hey, thanks you all for coming by to watch our little factory tour movie. We sure appreciate your loyalty, for real. I hope you appreciate all the detail and love and care that goes into building this manly gear. We do this because professional folks all over the world depend on the integrity of what we do now and what our service team will do for you later to make sure your manly audio products will deliver today and endure for decades. Make sure to check back with us at manly.com to see what we've got going on at Manly Labs.